Climate change is one of the greatest challenges the world is facing. To meet the climate challenge, we need to reduce our use of fossil fuels in all sectors of society. Today, air travel is an essential part of our modern world, and with a growing world population, air travel will only increase. That is why the aviation industry needs to reduce its carbon footprint and find alternative renewable fuels. Since 2009, biofuels have been certified for use in civil aviation. Now we have completed the first ever biofuels flights here in Norway. On these flights we used biofuels made from used cooking oil. But this has been just the first step towards a future in which airlines in Norway use sustainable biofuels made in industrial quantities from Norwegian forests. Aviation is important for the way we lead our lives today, for businesses, for social travels. Uh, but we need to carry out solutions for the environmental sides of this. And uh, biofuels is certainly one of the ways we can uh, solve the problems. The Norwegian forestry industry has been struggling for years. And because of low global demand for paper, there is a lot of raw material, trees, available for making biofuels. Forests are a fantastic renewable resource with a wide array of possibilities. Depending on how you use it, trees can be used to replace concrete, steel, chemicals, even plastic. What's left can be used to make biofuels for cars, ships and aeroplanes. Airport operator Avinor is working to reduce the carbon footprint of the aviation industry and it's committed to the development of biofuels from Norwegian forests for aviation. I'm so proud that today we have successfully made two flights from Bergen and Trondheim into Oslo with 50% of biofuel. We are setting the environment in the front seat. We have an alternative to fossil fuel. Designing a roadmap to a zero emission society is the task we are attacking at this year's conference. In Zero, we are very proud to work with Avinor to reduce emissions in the aviation sector. And we aim to establish production of forest-based biofuels in Norway. Big industrial players are ready to start production of biofuels in Norway. Using biofuels in aviation will reduce the carbon footprint of flying create new investments and new jobs in Norwegian industry and strengthen the value chain of renewable forestry. Sustainability requirements are mandatory. Even if biofuels can be produced from all forms of biomass, it depends on the raw materials to be truly sustainable from a climate perspective. For this flight, the biofuel is made from used cooking oil. Compared with ordinary fossil jet fuel, this creates an 80% reduction in carbon footprint, including both production and transport of the fuel. Biofuel will be the next big thing for the industry, and the industry needs to take responsibility also together with the government, uh, reduce uh, the emission. We look forward to, to take that responsibility from the SAS Group. The most important uh, we can do is actually to fly new airplanes like this one. That's what actually benefits uh, the airline industry most, besides, of course, uh, biofuel. Biofuel is essential to make the uh, airline industry greener. Biofuel, when produced in a sustainable way, can help us achieve lower emissions. And I look forward to support and follow the development of this climate-friendly alternative to fossil fuel. No, there was no um, no difference from uh, or no different from a normal flight. It was all normal indications and uh, it's a uh, Jet A1 uh, graded fuel, so it's uh, the same as normal fuel.